Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. In the last episode, we played as Roberto, someone who was able to survey an area. And I was about to introduce you to this episode saying, I don't know what we're supposed to do next, but then I just looked around this room briefly and I realized there's like rubble coming from the ceiling. And when you examine, it says, should Alex try to survey the area? So I guess I've gotten Roberto's surveying abilities passed through time or something. I'm not sure what's, what good it's going to do, but let's do it. An unseen force guides Alex's hand toward the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. A sense of familiarity overcomes her, and as the chapter page comes to her fingers, so does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. A war to end all wars. The Black Guardian grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. That was an awkward silence at the end there. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, mustard gas, rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men soak gauze in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded. See what we got on us. Lucky Penny. An old coin marked in a peculiar manner. It has held sentimental value for someone. Whoever holds the penny will undoubtedly receive good fortune. It has held sentimental value for someone. Wouldn't that be for Peter? Isn't that why I have it? Or maybe it's someone else's. It's covered in blood, actually, now that I look at it. Flash powder. Patch of flash powder for use with a photographic flash pan. Oh, right, for photographs. And there's a flash pan. Soldier's litter lies on the table waiting to be sent home. Covered with blood-stained sheets. These poor souls have passed from this world. For them, the suffering is over, but for those around them, the ordeal continues.
First letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. I was admitted to this hospital on Tuesday. The damage caused to my legs was slight, but there's no way that I could ever walk normally again. I hate this place. Every day I'm reminded that I will never be able to do the things I love. The hospital is a very strange place. Converted from an old cathedral, there's an odd atmosphere around it. Silent, but for the words of the wounded, calling out in the night. There's no doubt it is haunted. What I find most odd in this place is that you never see anyone leave during the day. It's not right. No goodbyes or farewells, just an empty bed when you wake. Hmm. A faint sound of moaning emanates from behind the linen veils, whispered utterances, frantic prayers to loved ones, words offered only by those who face their mortality. With a motherly voice, the nurse advises that Peter get some rest. Thanks. I think we're supposed to go in here. It's kind of highlighted. Uh, no, same description as the other tents. Maybe we're supposed to follow where they were dragging that body and see where they're, what they're doing with it? Maybe they're using all these dead people for the extra flesh and bone that they needed, right? Probably. The guard quietly but strongly points out that the area is off-limits to civilians. What if I tried to punch the guard? Fashion from aged varnished mahogany. Yeah, I think it's the same description as before. I saw something shining up here. Oh, another letter. Sealed envelope that seems to have been left behind. It looks rather official. Should I open the envelope? Yes. Soldier's orders. Whoops. Special note on Army Regulations Stationery. The note reads, Private Thompson, by order of Lieutenant Hargraves, on behalf of H.R.H. George V, you were to leave your post of duty and rally in the street outside Oublier Cathedral. Further orders will be presented at the rallying point. God save the king. Hmm. Wait a sec. Private Thompson, leave your post of duty. Do I need to, like, give this to somebody to tell them, get the hell out of here? Also, can I just use this lucky penny? Ah, oh, I can't. I wonder if it'll come in handy later. <laughs> what are you, guarding the organ? No music. The guard frowns and ushers Peter away from the organ. He explains that it is one of the few antiques in the region that has so far survived the war, and that, while he's alive, it will remain intact. Yeah, well, what about soldiers' orders? The guard inspects the orders and hands them back to Peter, saying that these orders are intended for someone else. Well... Uh, someone else. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna hand the orders to everybody. Until I find Thompson. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need a, a stronger power. Odd collection of colored lines decorate the wall. Yes, yeah, obviously. Reveal invisible or dispel magic. I'm not sure which one. Probably dispel magic. So, where else is there a soldier? Are you Thompson? Uh, begins to read them before exclaiming, Bloody hell, lad! We must be on the offensive. They really put that in a text, didn't they? Blue the L, lad. If 
following the orders, he takes leave of his post. Yes! Well, I guess that's where I'm supposed to go, but there's so many other ways to go. Stacked deeply on the landing. Crates of medical supplies await use. Sarettes of morphine, bandages, tourniquets, antiseptics, the list goes on and on. So this should lead up to the bell tower. Still remember the layout of this place. Soldier's letter. Soldier's letter number two. Second letter from Private Reginald Jackson to his love, Margaret. It's strange that these got spread all over the place. Been here for over a week now, and there's no word when I will be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. At night, the sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement, or whispers. I've seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here at night? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he had heard cries for help in the middle of the night, cries that were only answered by snarls of rage and not compassion. Another said Lance Corporal Haskell had not been discharged, but had gone missing. I stared at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Oh, I can't reach the thing or pull it or anything. Okay, well, let's go back to where that soldier went away from their post. Ugh. Ooh, a gun. Uh-oh. I think zombies have awoken. Stacked like logs, Peter stands before the price of human war. The bloody corpses of young men who have made the ultimate sacrifice to defend their own countries, and those of others. So I've just got these six shots. No melee weapon. No magic. Oh, never mind, we do have magic. Sweet. Good timing. Well, before we go out there, let's enchant this thing. And let's use shield. Uh, lefty pet? Yes! I remembered right. And that's all my ammo. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we just go around and see what's changed now. Thought maybe I'd have a chance to save him. Guess not. Um. Hmm. Can I cast damage field? Do I have enough time? Probably not. Yes, got it. I'm just gonna like stand inside. Oh, right, they don't take damage unless they're like exposed. Well, that's not good. Um, how do I unequip? Oh, just equip it again. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna try to punch him. Can I? Can I enchant my fists? <laughs> Can I use my lucky penny? Nope. Okay, actually, I should just run. Like, I'm already taking damage from my complete lack of sanity. 
Oh, what's that? Rifle. Probably discarded by a fleeing guard. Excellent. Uh, do I have any ammo for it, though? Is, I guess, the big question. Uh oh Oh, it's not gonna get off! Oh, it did somehow. Oh, it's because of my shield. My shield kept me alive. Sweet, I actually trapped them inside. Cool. Ten shots. No, 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 no. Oh. No, not my volume. I gotta go down now, right? One of the cathedral's guards lies dead by his post. His death was sudden and violent. His broken limbs twisted at odd angles, with a trickle of blood issuing from his mouth and ears. Um, is there some more ammo around here before I leave? Because without a good melee weapon, I'm pretty vulnerable. Nah, I guess not. meticulously clean, Peter is surprised that it is not more chaotic for a frontline hospital. After all, isn't this where the death certificates are written? Like the... Marie Celeste. Or Mary Celeste? The Mary Celeste. The desk, desk hasn't been touched in some time, as though its user suddenly turned away and never returned. A half-written letter bespeaks silent, unfinished activity. Can I turn on the bellows now? Nope. You know, I should probably save. I don't think I've saved at all, have I? No, not even once. I can barely see anything. Perched on the wall beside the generator is an open-faced fuse box. A fuse appears to be missing. Okay, so we got a fuse puzzle. The device appears to be a steam-powered generator. It sits idly, waiting for steam to be supplied to it. There's a lever, presumably to switch the generator on and off. Should I pull the lever? Sure, it's not going to work, though. There's a grating of metal on metal, but nothing else. There's no steam coming into the generator. Rusty but faithful for many years, a coal-burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral complex. There's currently no pressure being diverted to the generator. Turn the wheel? Yes. So I guess that's getting steam now. Is that a... Ooh, there's a little hole in the wall here. I bet a trapper could get through there. Although trappers can't look at things or pick up items or open doors, so I'm not sure what use it would be, but I should probably try. The door is unlocked but won't open, as if there's a large object on the other side locking its movement. 
Hmm. I'm gonna try a trapper on that. But first, let's try the lever again. Shouldn't work without a fuse, but maybe. Circuit broken? Yeah, okay. Summon Trapper. Don't think it matters what alignment. Alright, little buddy. Oh god, I can't see anything. Oh my god. Oh, this is better. Ah, oh, so that's where that power-up thing is. So I need to get in here. The body of a soldier, a patient from the hospital, lies slumped against the door. Trying to hide from the horror, he had barricaded himself inside the room before succumbing to his wounds. Since it's a body, I might be able to teleport it away with a trapper, right? Let's try. Um, do I press attack? Yeah, there we go. Uh... I don't think that worked. Huh. I don't think there's anything else I can do with the trapper. I don't know. Uh, I'll come back to that. Oh, am I gonna start losing more body parts? No, just just the head. Oh, I didn't see that one there. Alright, well, it gives us a chance to get our sanity back. Green, green, green. Yes, green! No! Oh, Christ. I think my controls just got reversed or something. That was odd. Well, I guess we're not getting our sanity back. Well, actually, we could just go right back there. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Soldier's body lies on the floor. Far from the front line, this poor man met his end. His fate is far removed from his brothers in arms, a victim of the cathedral rather than by bullet or bayonet. Casks. There's no knocking sound, so I don't think I need to, like, reopen the thing. I don't think so. So... I might need to solve this problem right now. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? There, I think there's an object on the organ piano upstairs. I should go check that. Could be a fuse or something, or is it just a piece of music? A piece of very old paper sits on the pipe organ, callously misplaced and forgotten. Oh. Huh. Well, let's play it again, shall we? The shelling has knocked out the cathedral's generator. The organ cannot be used without a supply of power. Oh. Okay. Well, let me keep looking around for a fuse or something then. Ah, the way to the old cathedral is unlocked. Okay, this might be it too. Oh no! It is possible to save him. Nice.
Okay, yeah, so the stuff I need must be somewhere around here. The altar stands wreathed in cold mist. As Peter nears the stone, a sense of deep woe gnaws at his heart. The cathedral is undoubtedly evil and not the holy place he had thought it to be. Should be safe over here. No, don't no, examine. Ah. It really is a sad sight just shooting a pair of legs on the ground. What kind of an execution is that? It's like they're already dead. Medical supplies, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Convert into rudimentary morgue. Ooh, oh, there's just ammo. Still good, though. A whole bunch of ammo. Just need to make sure I keep an eye out for a fuse or anything like that. Wait till we get the power up and going again. It's so dark. Actually, can we talk to them? Nervously shaking from her ordeal, the nurse tries to calm herself and thank Peter for saving her life. You're welcome. Ooh, a melee weapon. Yes. And is that a fuse? Ah, it's just ammo. Two-edged sword, yes. That's a good one. This room has fallen into disuse. The shelves, once full of books and scrolls, are now rife with dust bearing nothing but trash and debris. So still in the secret chamber here. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, this is disturbing me. I found nice stuff going to the old cathedral, but I did not find a fuse. Or anything I could think of that could help me get through that door. To get the five power thing. Because I think that's my ultimate goal at the moment. With the five power thing, I can get through that wall. So... I'm not really sure what to do from this point. Wait a minute. Oh, I bet this is what the lucky coin is for, isn't it? Jam it in there in place of the fuse? What do you bet? Yes! <laughs> in a rush of inventiveness, Peter jams a lucky penny in place of the fuse. Amazingly, it works. The fuse has been replaced. Ah. <sighs> Holy shit, this thing looks dangerous. Did they really make steam generators like this with, like, coils of shooting electricity? Why? Anyway, um, what should that allow us to do? Probably nothing new in here, in terms of getting inside of this room, but we can play the organ. I think I would have been decapitated there. Okay, is it the same as before? A, B, one, yeah. And then, what were the three last ones? Something, something A, um, Y, A, B, I think? No, that's, that wasn't right. It ends in A. B, Y, A?
There we go. I love melee weapons. Oh, I hear another enemy. Um, there's only a door handle lying on the lower shelf. Is that gonna somehow let me get in the door? How would that let me get in the door, though? The one that's blocked. I thought the issue was just that it's blocked, not, not that there's no door handle. I mean, okay. Door handle for an obscure door. It doesn't appear to belong to any particular door in sight. Huh. Maybe that's for the, like, reveal invisible or dispel magic door that I have yet to do. Killing demons is great for my sanity. Um, yeah, I can't think of any other door to try to use it on. So I guess I'll go down and try it on the block door. If not, then that's definitely the thing I need to do next. Is somehow find a way in there. Huh, I was just looking at the description for this flash pan. It says it can be used to stun some enemies. Let's try it. So we can load it up, right? I think it's already loaded, actually. Not that this is going to help me with anything at all. <laughs> I love it. Reload. Oh. I suspected this might be the case the more I thought about it. I guess because I never really used the trappers in combat or anything like that, I, I didn't remember this little fact. So I had the exact right idea. The only problem was you don't just do the attack. And then it just works, I guess. You have to actually particularly target something. So you have to go into targeting mode, which then highlights the body. So I had the absolute right idea, I just didn't remember that you had to do this. Sorry, little buddy. This room is used to store coal for use in the steam boiler. Oh, I already read that. Okay. Right, well I guess I'm gonna remake a bunch of my spells in that higher tier of power. I wish you just did it for you and you didn't have to like literally <laughs> just redo every single spell. Okay, I just ended up redoing all the spells because, eh, why not? <laughs> it was a little bit tedious, but I want the power. In doing so, I also discovered two new spells. I have no idea what they do. They're unknown, of course. Um, which one was it? I think... I think spell 11... Yeah, spell 11 is the next version of summon, where it's the same symbols, just a higher power level, and it summons something different. So that is definitely a summon spell. I just don't know what it actually summons. But this one I also made, spell 11. I have no idea what that does. I don't even remember what runes I picked. Um, but because they're such high power, they're probably going to take a huge amount of mana. So I'm not going to cast them now. Let's do... Is it Reveal Invisible or Dispel? I don't know. I think it's Reveal Invisible. Aha! Uh -huh. Yep, I need a handle. <laughs> 